Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Isidro Reyna. The science continues on board the International Space Station. Carbon dioxide is one of the most important and long-lived greenhouse gases. In fact, increases in atmospheric carbon dioxide, both man-made and natural, are responsible for about two-thirds of the total energy imbalance that is causing the Earth's temperature to rise. The Orbiting Carbon Observatory 3 experiment, which arrived at the station May 6, will give scientists the first opportunity to watch the Earth breathe from space. We know that local carbon dioxide levels rise and fall during the day with changes in emissions and photosynthesis rates, but these changes are measured sparsely worldwide. The experiment will observe how carbon dioxide concentrations change throughout the day in many parts of the globe, in both large industrialized cities and surrounding croplands. This is another step toward monitoring emission hotspots, volcanic eruptions, and other local carbon sources from space. Understanding carbon sources can aid in forecasting increased atmospheric heat retention and reduce its long-term risk. Serious medical conditions caused by poor kidney health can occur more often in space. The kidney cells experiment examines how kidney health is affected by microgravity and other factors of space travel, including increased chemical exposure, water conservation and recycling, and altered dietary intake. Knowledge gained can help protect the health of astronauts and also contribute to better treatments for kidney-related conditions on Earth. Learning the results of this research on the space station is critical as we look to send humans on longer space missions and set our sights on sending astronauts to the moon by 2024. This week's question comes from Bill, who asks why space is the place to perform many of these experiments versus Earth. Space is unique because it allows scientists to remove gravity from the equation, giving them an entirely new environment to study everything from human health to physical processes only happening on extremely small scales. We may not know yet what will be the most important discovery gained from Space Station, but we already have some amazing breakthroughs. In the areas of human health, telemedicine, education, and observations of Earth from space, there are already demonstrated benefits to human life. Vaccine development research, station-generated images that assist with disaster relief and farming, and education programs that inspire future scientists, engineers, and space explorers are just some examples of research benefits. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week.